Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to explain how our CBSE grading system works in high school. Many students get confused between marks, grades, and CGPA, so let's make it simple and easy to understand. First of all, CBSE doesn't just give marks. It uses a nine-point grading scale. This means that instead of writing marks like 85 or 72, CBSE converts your marks into grades like a 1, A2, or B1. Here's how it works. If you score between 91 and 100 marks, your grade is A1, and you get 10 grade points. 81 to 90 is A2, with 9 points. 71 to 80 is B1, with 8 points. 61 to 70 is B2, with 7 points. 51 to 60 is C1, with 6 points. 41 to 50 is C2, with 5 points. 33 to 40 is D, with 4 points and that's the minimum passing grade. Anything below 33 marks means E1 or E2, which means you need to improve in that subject. Now, how do we find the overall result? CBSE uses something called CGPA, which means Cumulative Grade Point Average. To calculate CGPA, you just add the grade points of all subjects and divide by the total number of subjects. For example, let's say a student got these grades. English, A2, 9 points. Maths, B1, 8 points. Science, A2, 9 points. Social Science, B2, 7 points. And Hindi, A1, 10 points. If we add them, 9 plus 8 plus 9 plus 7 plus 10 is equal to 43. Now divide by 5 subjects. 43 divided by 5 is equal to 8. 6 CGPA. But what about percentage? CBSE gives a simple formula. Percentage equals CGPA times nine. So eight, six by nine, five is equal to 81. That's how we find your overall percentage from CGPA. So remember, your grade reflects not just your marks, but your overall performance level. A good grade shows consistency, understanding, and effort. Keep learning with focus and never worry just about numbers. Work on real understanding and grades will follow automatically. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support really helps us create more useful videos like this one. Thank you for watching.